and we are back with your trip simulator what's up guys um, last time we went to Liege from Osnabrück once again I apologize if I am not pronouncing that correctly but um let us go to a quick job because I don't have a truck yet what's going on with this pressure tank <gasps> Heavy oversized cargo. Oh, well, okay. All right, all right. Six, six thousand. I can. How far is it? I can do this. I'm going to France. Bonjour. Comment ça va? That's like the only fucking phrase I know. Oh, wait. je suis un morceau de papier. If anyone understood that, please comment. Tell me what. Tell me. Tell everyone else what I said if you understood that. Je suis un morceau de papier. Headlights are on. Brights, brights, brights. Yeah. Huh, I can do this faster. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's get going. I'm not gonna try and see what we have as cargo because it's hard to see. Oh, you can just see in the in the rear in the rear in the rear rearview mirror have um, pressure tanks. You light, I'm going. Oh, I have to say, fuck you, light. Use your shit. Alright. Make a way, I have to go, there, go this way. Turn. Man, it is dark in the cab. It's dark as shit in the cab. Like, not even funny how dark it is. speed and then I will go ahead and turn on cruise control and I can talk a little bit more. Just a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Sorry if you hear any kind of like resonating noise. I'm my knee is hitting the leg of my desk and my desk isn't really all that heavy so it's not it's it, it's it's a little bit of wobble. Plus I mean it's an IKEA desk so it's not amazing. But it works, it works, it's nice. I like it. I like it. 45 bucks? This is a great desk. It can, it can withstand a lot of weight for 45 bucks. I like it. Alright. I'm almost up to speed. I can turn my windshield wipers off. No. I can turn them off. Okay. Uh, cruise control. Alright. <sighs> Anybody here psyched? Oh, wait. I don't know if this is going to be up by then. This might be up by then. I don't know. Anybody know when that new Godzilla movie's coming out? Because I don't fucking know. If this movie comes out, if this video comes out by the time that movie's out, I may have already seen it. I may not have seen it. I don't know. I saw a bunch of movies that are in theaters right now that I want to see. So this will clearly date the video. <laughs> date when I record it. What just came out last week was the Need for Speed movie, and I so want to see it. Oh, God. And I don't remember. Something else just came out today. I don't remember. Oh, my God. I... Oh. I don't remember. Fuck. Need for Speed. I remember when I remember when Need for Speed... I remember I played... First Need for Speed game I ever played was the Porsche Unleashed... But I only played that, like, I don't know, once on my friend's computer. <laughs> and I was just like, this is kind of cool. And then I never, talked, I never talked about it again. But then um, I got a PS2. And I got, I think it was Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 2. Oh, that was fun. I fucking loved that game. That game was amazing. And then there was Underground... Which was by far so one of my more favorite games. I remember, remember the car I always wanted to get in that game was the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. That was like the coolest car then. 
I love that and car. Today, still to this day, I want that car. If I could have one, I would love it. And I live right next to it. I live near a Nissan dealership, so they sell new GTR Black Editions. And I just every time I drive by there, I'm just like, I just my mouth just starts to water because I want one of those cars so bad. I wish I wish I could drive one. I want to drive one around Road America or like going to Sega or something like that. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Okay, but after that, there was a, after that there was Underground Two, where they introduced SUVs and hydraulics, which was kind of cool, but also really dumb at the same time. And then after that, I want to see was I was um most wanted. I want to say, which was pretty cool. I mean, everyone got pissed when you lost your M3 GTR at the beginning of the game. And to be honest, everyone was like, oh, M3 GTR is not that cool. It's like, dude, you know how much one of those fuckers goes today from in mint condition? That same, not the same exact car, but, you know, you know that model and year. Like, 60 grand if you can find one in mint condition. $60,000. Probably more, because I haven't checked in a few months. Actually, let me put it this way, I haven't checked in a few years. But, those fuckers are expensive if you can find one. BMW M3 GTR from like 90 something or the early 2000s? I can't remember. But that car, if I could have one, that would be fucking cool too. <laughs> See, and then after that, after that Need for Speed, there was Carbon, which was pretty legit. I like that game, it was pretty fun. And after Carbon, there was Pro Street, if I remember correctly, which I played the shit out of that. That was the first game. That was when they brought out. That was right when they started bringing out the. Uh, I think it was like a year before the new GTR came out, which is fucking awesome. So they they put that in the game. I was so happy, and they also put the new uh, Camaro in the game, which was so awesome. I love Camaros. Guys, the new Camaro, I love it. I, I would take a Camaro over a Mustang any day. Shit, I would take a Camaro over a Charger. Or, a, shoot, okay, any American muscle car besides the old 69 GT500 KR, Shelby GT500 KR, I would take a Camaro over any of those any day. Now, if it was a 69 Charger RT, I might take that as well because that was generally, duh. But I would love to. Ha I would love to have a Camaro. If I could get a '67 Camaro SSRS, I'd be so happy. Because Camaros are so cool. I love Camaros. They're so cool to me. There's that. Oh, people here. Then I would. I think what else, what the car I would want. Oh, also in Pro Street, there was the uh, the Koenigsegg CCX. Oh. Everyone always went for the fucking Bugatti Veyron 16.4. I don't, I don't see the coolness in that car. It's just it. I don't like it at all. It was the fastest car in the world? It was at that time. I still don't like. I didn't like it then, and I still don't like it now. Because every, every single time. I would drive with somebody, like I would race someone, I'd pull my Koenigsegg out, and I would just fucking rape them if they were in a, if they were in a Bugatti, a Bugatti Veyron. But top speed, top speed isn't everything, you gotta think about cornering and acceleration. The acceleration in the Koenigsegg was so much higher, and so was the cornering, because it was lower to the ground, and it was more aerodynamic. The Bugatti was like a foot taller than it, so it had so much more drag. So that's why I don't like Bugattis. They're, I mean, yeah, it's a cool car. It requires two keys to use both engines and all, and all. Well, let me put it this way: before, b before I make everyone think I'm sound like a fucking idiot. Yes, it is put on paper that that that, that car has a thousand and one horsepower. The engine does before you put it in the car. Before the engine is put in the car, 
when they run tests and everything, and they do dyno tests with just the engine, it has a thousand to one horsepower. Once you put that engine in the car, with all the transmission and all the variances that can ruin the horsepower, it has somewhere around like 850 something or 60 something horsepower. I could be wrong. Somewhere it's I know it's somewhere in that range. So it loses a lot of horsepower. It loses like 130 horsepower easy. How can that be? It's Bugatti. And it's a heavy fucking car. It has 10 fucking radiators for Pete's sake. To cool the engine. 10 radiators. One in the front. One of those. One in each of those two little humps it has on the, on the back. That are just. Like a, oh, fuck you. Like a roof scoop. Fucking 6%? Really? Now, I don't know where other, where other ones are, but it, it's got 10 fucking. Really? Does it need 10 radiators? No, it doesn't. It's just two. It's two V8s put together side by side. It's a W16. It doesn't. It doesn't need ten radiators. Ugh. Shit, Volkswagen came out with a, with a Phaeton, which has a W12 in it. It's gonna it easily hit two hundred miles an hour. It has one radiator. It's a thick radiator, but it's one radiator. It doesn't. No. A W16 does not need ten radiators. Every car in the world, except for maybe a few dozen that have been made, have one radiator. The other couple will probably have like maybe two or three, maybe four. But ten is a little excessive. But we want to make the car cool. It's cold. Yeah. You don't need ten fucking radiators to make a car cold. Like, come on. Seriously. I mean, if you're driving, you're going to have wind hitting the car. It's going to go right through the radiator. And last time I checked... Uh, wind chill factors. <laughs> like seriously, air is going through the radiator, creating wind going through the radiator because you're moving, obviously. Which is going to make things a whole lot better with um, temperatures. Because just a st I mean, a static radiator, just not having any air pulled through it. It's gonna, it's gonna relieve, it's gonna relieve some, some temperature, some, some heat from the engine. But you add, you add air going through that, it's gonna do a whole lot more. You add a fan, pull, pull extra air through that, it's gonna do also a whole lot more. Speaking of which, with my fucking same concept with my new um, CPU cooler. I have the Corsair H100i. It's a 120 millimeter, 100, 240 millimeter uh, radiator. I do, I don't have the specs. I do have the specs near me. I'm not going to attempt to pull them out because I'm trying to turn going down here. I'm actually going to have I actually have the box right like two feet from me. Oh, I'm looking. I'm sorry. I'm looking. I'm looking. I know this is gonna take a little while. I'm sorry. It's uh, it's, uh, it's 122 millimeters by 275. Okay, it's 122 millimeters by 200. Well, 125 millimeters. 200 and something. Straight road. Okay, 120, 22 millimeters. 122 by 275 by 27. So it's 27 millimeters thick, 275 millimeters long, and 122 millimeters wide. That's pretty good for cooling. Now they do make double thick radiators, which are. What was this one? 25, 27 millimeters? They make them with they're like 50 millimeters thick. The thicker the radiator, also the better to cool. But you gotta add, add if you add wind to that and airflow, it's gonna do so much more. Simple concepts of, of cooling. Yeah, 
You ever wonder why it gets really cold when it's like 32 degrees outside and the wind's talking? And it feels like it's like 15? It's called wind chill factor. You add wind, it creates a different factor of temperature, which makes it feel a hell of a lot colder. Oh, fuck you. I'm not stopping for shit. Yeah, I know, reckless. I'm reckless. Badass. Probably shouldn't be doing this because I'm fucking ruining my videos and I'm also ruining my cargo. Also ruining the money intake I get from the cargo. Oh, God, I'm so fucking dumb. Oh, I found another dealership. I'm going to go straight through because I want to see what this dealership is. Come on. Tell me? Oh, it's just a fucking repair shop. Never mind. It just kind of works out for me because I kind of actually should, should, should go this way anyway. That was a long rant about air cooling. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was also a long rant about a Bugatti Veyron, which I hate that fucking car. I just think that car is a pile of garbage. Go ahead. Criticize me, Volkswagen. I know you own Bugatti. I just, I just don't like the Bugatti Veyron. I am entitled to my own opinion. I think it's garbage. Other people think it's amazing. That's my opinion. I don't like it. You don't like that I don't like it? Too bad. I'm sorry. Bugatti Veyron, I think, is just garbage. I would much rather choose a Koenigsegg CCX over a Bugatti Veyron any fucking day. Because, one, it looks cooler, and two, it's just better. It's not faster, but it's just better in all, in all other aspects. I will attempt to continue my rant about games I played as a child next time after I park this. Actually, I think I could talk a little bit more. Okay, after Pro Street, there was the Shift games, which I never played. And then there was when they brought out the old Hot Pursuit, which I never played. And they brought out Most Wanted again. No, no, no. Need to be undercover. I actually played that one. I thought it was okay. He's been undercover. Yeah. I played it. I think I beat it. I don't remember. Put it on Xbox like five years ago. Well, maybe not that long ago. What am I? Fuck. Fuck. What am I doing? Straight. Straighten out. I'm straightening out. Sorry, I'm being really quiet right now. I'm really trying to concentrate. I'm not getting this, so what I need to do is pull off a little bit like this stop. Middle this way. Straighten up. I obviously don't know what I'm doing, but I obviously know what I'm doing at the same time. Come on, kids. Great words to live by. You know what you're doing, but you don't know what you're doing at the same time. Those are the greatest words to live by. I'm gonna laugh at this fucking... Oh my fucking god, really? Hold on. Hold on, guys. Look at this fucking parking job. This is fucking terrible. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's fucking horrible. Like, seriously, look at that. That is sad. It's fucking sad. I, I'll take it. <laughs> good work. Uh, good work. I know. Fuck you. I'd fuck you with the damage penalty. Oh! I'll level it up, though. All right. 
Okay. I should add this stuff because this stuff adds a lot. Mm. Yeah, explosives apply. All right. Okay, then. Done this one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought about that rant about nothing for like 20 minutes. Anywho. All right. See you guys next time. Moondog out.